Well, it's an interesting about, you know, introducing his fury into real life because when I did Ed Grimley on Second City Stage, this is 1977, created that character. You know, I had a brother-in-law, kind of talked like this. How you doing, buddy? He's got a voice like this. And then, so I took that kind of voice quality because I, in the scene I was playing a guy who owned an Esso station with a car wash on the side and he was competing for a, an advanced job against Catherine O'Hara who had her MA and, and, and you know, something and from McGill and the guy doesn't know who to pick so he ends up picking me and it, the scene was called Sexist, 1977. And, um, and then there was also that rhythm of, uh, my, I have, you know, relatives who, it's like almost valley talk, but it's Canadian. So I saw my dad, da 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 you can draw the notes of it, da 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 So I added that on a layer of my brother-in-law. And then in the scene, I remember it was Catherine Heron, myself, and Peter Aykroyd, brother of Danny. And he said, I had put a little grease in my hair as this character. And um, then he said, gee, your hair's getting taller every night. And to make him laugh, I put it into a point. It came out. And the audience laughed. And I thought, well, isn't that what I'm trying to do? Beca and then I thought, this is an interesting level of abs absurdity because there are people in life who are hilarious characters, but they're just living their life. They're not trying to be a hilarious character. You know, you pick up your shirts at the cleaners and the guy's going, you know, I couldn't get a thing out, Mr. Sherman. I tried. And he's got a page boy hairdo and a Madras shirt. And he looks like, you know, uh, you Bill Hader's playing a character in SNL, but he's just living his life. You're describing that. Here comes Ed Grimley. Here comes a bit of Ed Grimley. There, whatever, whatever. That's for me. Someone sitting at the piano going, "Well, no, no, no. I have these notes." And so it, you, I think you that's sounded true. to me like you were composing, in this case, a character. But I would say it's a piece. Robbie of music. Robertson told me years ago that he was on vacation with his wa then wife. I think it was David Geffen and Joni Mitchell. And Joni was writing, "I was a free man in Paris. I felt unfettered and alive," which was about David Geffen. And, but she threw out the whole vacation just going, So finally, Robbie said, his wife said, Joni, either finish the fucking song or put the fucking guitar down. You're killing me. It took her weeks just to figure out how to open that song, trying every variation. 